All new at six tonight, there is a new voice leading the Seneca Nation here in Western New York. J.C. Seneca sworn in today as the nation's new president who will now oversee thousands of members along with an enterprise that generates a billion dollars a year. The Seneca Nation has two primary territories in our region. 4,000 members live between these two communities. Another 4,000 live off territory. Beyond this land, the Seneca Nation operates three casinos, two hotels, and multiple gas stations that employ 3,500 people. The nation says it generates more than $1 billion in economic impact each year. So today, I traveled to Salamanca to meet with the Seneca Nation's new president to learn more about his priorities as he now heads into office. We're here with the new president of the Seneca Nation, J.C. Seneca, joins us now. Congratulations. What's this day been like for you and Thanks. your family? Yeah, it's a great day. You know, I'm very uh, grateful and thankful for the opportunity to uh, become president of the Seneca Nation. Uh, you know, it's, it's a big day because my father was uh, president of the Seneca Nation, actually inaugurated on the same day uh, 56 years ago. So it's, uh, my thoughts are with him and my mother and, uh, you know, everything they taught me and uh, made me who I am today. You ran your campaign with a slogan of unifying the Seneca people. How do you accomplish that? What does that unity look like under your leadership? I think it's inclusion, you know, and sharing of information and uh, bringing our people together and have community meetings to uh, tackle the many issues that we face. Together, we can accomplish that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, in the past, it hasn't been so. And so that's a big change, uh, what's gonna happen in regards to that. reach out to our community and bringing them together and getting their advice, their ideas, their viewpoints, and what they want in the future. As you take office, the Seneca Nation in the middle of negotiating a new gaming compact with New York State, where does that stand here tonight? What's your approach and what are your expectations moving? Well, again, it involves the people. You know, our people have to uh, be at the table with me and we have to come up with uh, what they want. Uh, that hasn't happened. And so that's my first thing out of the gate is to include our people in those discussions and bring them in and have uh, community meetings to develop uh, a position in regards to what our people want because they're gonna have to vote, in a, vote on it in a referendum. And so they need to be involved. They need to be a part of that process and that's what I'll do. Now, President Seneca tells me he hasn't had the conversation with Governor Hochul on the status of that gaming compact just yet, but expects that to happen in coming weeks. His overall message for the Seneca Nation tonight, hope, faith, and trust, asking everyone to work together to get the job done. Big day. Yeah, really Salamanca. important to get their voice to you and hear what the plans it's are. It's that yeah. unity that he's talking about. Yeah, for sure. awesome, awesome yeah. stuff, Jeff.